What's up everyone, 22nd of August today, it's Monday and that means we're gonna have a look at Euro Dollar. Uh, about an hour ago I sent out this analysis in our free group, right, there's gonna be a link um, in the description of this video, you can click on that and, can, and you can join, it's completely free, uh, you can see some of my analysis, some of my video analysis as well, but essentially what we're talking about here is um, a potential continuation on Euro Dollar to the downside, right, a lot of people wonder if if we're actually going to be able to break below the 1.0 even uh, level right here and I actually think that's you know totally possible now in order to make an entry I'm gonna have to see a nice pullback here ideally I want to see a pullback to the levels that we broke below recently basically 1.0120 20. as soon as i see price coming up here testing that level from below i'm going to be looking for some type of reversal candlestick pattern formation all right that's going to give me my entry and i'm going to be looking for targets first obviously 1.0 but like i said i'm actually expecting to see the market breaking below that and the next one will be 0.9950 that's where i'm going to be looking for targets as well obviously depending on how price action gets down here if we see a nice momentum all right if we see that you know the market easily breaks below that 1.0 level then that probably means we're going to see a continuation even lower but as of right now you know obviously first we need to see that retest here and a continuation down then we can talk about uh you know potential target levels we can then use the fibonacci expansion too as well to find those next target levels but like i said right now we're going to be focusing on 1.0 level and then 0.99 50. So make sure to put on those levels on your chart and let's see what's going to happen next. Um, I don't think there's any point to enter a short trade right now. Okay. Now for me personally, if I want to, um, you know, take a sell trade right now, then that means I'm going to have to place my stop loss all the way up here above the 1.02 level, right? And it doesn't make any sense. It's going to ruin my risk to reward ratio. And I'm going to be looking for maybe even less uh, than one to one risk to reward ratio on this one. Uh, uh, which is a trade that I don't really want to trade, right? So basically, waiting for that pullback, that's going to improve your risk to reward ratio much better. Basically, even if price comes up here and using stop loss above 1.02, obviously, that's going to save you quite a few pips. In this case, roughly, we're talking about 85 pips. So why not add those 85 pips to your, you know, potential profit rather than stop loss, okay? And there's something else as well. For those of you that are even a bit more aggressive you know if you see that pullback right here to around 1.0120 then you see that reversal you wait for that reversal so basically you see some nice rejection wicks or some engulfing candles to the downside you can actually use a much smaller stop loss let's say you're going to be using a stop loss of about 40 pips for example because you can then you know place your stop loss just above that reversal but first obviously you need to see that confirmation that price is actually reversing all right so being more patient actually rewards you in the long term okay and so using such a small stop loss and then let's say from around 1.0120 you've got nearly 200 pips around 170 pips uh, to that target of 0.9950 Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. We'll see what's going to happen this week. There's not that many news coming out. Um, I, I think we've got a couple of meetings, a couple of press conferences um, at the end of the week. So that's where we can see some volatility in the market and we can see some big moves. But before that, I think it's going to be a calm week. So that's something to watch out for here on Euro Dollar. And not only, we've also got a couple of opportunities on the other major pairs as well, um, including gold also. We're going to be talking about gold on Wednesday. So if you haven't subscribed to um, our channel, make sure to do so. Also, leave a like on this video so you can reach more and more people. And again, like I said, don't forget to join our free Telegram channel. Check out the links in the description below this video and join our email newsletter as well. Every Monday, I'm sending out trading opportunities to your email early in the morning before London market opens so you can be ready once the trading session begins. All right, so that's all. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to watch our last two videos where you can find more valuable information. Check out our channel for more trading related videos. I wish you all a successful trading and I'll see you next time.